Hi, everybody. We welcome you to Football Friday, presented by the West Virginia Lottery. Tony Caridi along with Coach Dwight Wallace. West Virginia's home opener now hours away as the Mountaineers get set to take on the Penguins of Youngstown State. Let's start off here, Coach, with Youngstown State. Yes, they are 0-1, but yes, he is. Bo Pelini coaches this Youngstown State team, and with that, Coach, you have to have instant respect and be careful. Well, you really do. You know, Bo Pelini has such a background. You take a look at where he's been. He's been all over the NFL. He's kind of the guy really that was around with that black shirt defense at Nebraska, which really set the standard way back when. And then, of course, he became head coach at Nebraska. And this guy, you know, I mean, he recruits the heck out of Youngstown. They get good football players. But just looking at him, uh, I think, uh, you know, he's going to put together something defensively. And I don't know what the talent level is. It's hard to know. I know they're 0-1. But I would come in here with a lot of respect, and I think that's real key because this guy would demand that respect. On the other side, West Virginia is a heavy favorite in this game. Coaches have been preaching all week, you better be ready to go. So who does it fall on, the players? Well, I think so. I think your senior class in weeks like this, and, and really every week it's a little bit of a different challenge, but it's sure a lot easier if your seniors will set the standard. If they go out there and it's the pace of practice, the pace of game play, the, just the way you take it serious, and I kind of think we'll do a good job. I thought the seniors did a good job last week, and I don't think we're all that established yet that we can say, hey, we're Godzilla and we can just walk on the field. I think these guys realize they've still got some stuff to prove. That's a good point. Speaking of Godzilla, the 1988 undefeated Mountaineer team will be honored during this game. Coach Wallace was the quarterback's coach, assistant head coach of that undefeated squad. It's, it's amazing that it's been 30 years, and it'll be great to see these guys, huh? Seems like yesterday. I'll tell you what, when I was trying to figure out how to get Major to come lift weights, <laughs> I mean, it, it was something else, but what a great group. You know, it's neat, the chemistry. You always look back, and when you get to be an old guy and you look back over those teams that you had that were good teams, that were winners, you know it's the chemistry, and that chemistry doesn't stop. You know, uh, The stuff that made us good then was the senior leadership, the players taking initiative, the chemistry between each other, the, being, the accountability of you being accountable to your teammate. And uh, these guys have that, and that doesn't stop. They go out, and they, they succeed you know, in practice and in games, then they go succeed in the real world, you know. But these guys, you're seeing some tremendous people that have really had a lot of success, and a lot of it's just a carryover. You know, we benefited here at West Virginia from that great leadership, from that chemistry, and now these guys are still going, and, and they'll come back. You know, that's the one thing. There are going to be a bunch of them back today. Absolutely. Should be a great one. We invite you to join us on the radio side beginning at 2.30 for the pregame coverage, and the kick is set for 6 o'clock. Along with Coach Dwight Wallace, I'm Tony Caridi, and this has been Football Friday presented by the West Virginia Lottery.